Welcome to a new vlog. So today I'm actually gonna take you guys with me doing a little shopping at Ulta. We did this in my last vlog too, so we're gonna go today. Today was actually gonna be a filming day for me. I was starting to get ready, but as you can maybe see, this is my window and I normally film like right here and they're doing construction. So there've been people out there um, all morning. Uh, this is like the first second of quiet so I can film this little intro, but filming a sit down video was not gonna be possible today. So I figured, Let's still save the day, do a little bit of vlogging. And I, I have to go to Macy's to make a return, but it's right next to Ulta. So we'll pop in and do a little bit of shopping. Okay, let's go. However, plot twist, I did not buy any of these yesterday when you guys saw me at Ulta. I already had placed an order to Ulta and it was it was shipping to me. So when I was in stores, I was like, girl, you don't need to buy anything. But since we did go in stores and you did get to see me do a little window shopping, let me share with you guys the products that I picked up recently. It's a very random haul, but first of all, let's start with something I'm wearing right now. And I feel like I, maybe I use too much of this. If you're looking and thinking, wow, girl, you look like a ghost. I feel like I do also. Don't get me wrong, I'm a pale person. Maybe my face, I don't know. Maybe I match. But I picked this up. This is from LA Girl. It is their Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. These are not new. I've been hearing people talk about these and recommend them for years. And I picked up the white one. They also have blue ones, yellow ones, orange ones. Like you can use this to fully adjust your foundation shade. And I've tried something like this in the past. I had one from Manic Panic years ago. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel and watching my videos for that long, let me know down below because I used to talk about that one back when I lived in Detroit with like the green door background. <laughs> but that was just a white foundation and I used the foundation to mix. And the thing with that product, it disrupted the formula a little bit. So when I would mix that in, it would alter the formula. So sometimes I would have like a favorite foundation that was a bit too dark and I would put that in. And yes, I could create a good shade, but then I didn't love some of the things about the formula that I originally loved, you know? So that's why I was eager to try this one. Granted, I haven't had that Manic Panic one for years. It expired and I don't, I don't have it anymore. But I heard people say that this one doesn't really affect the formula. I feel like they're all going to a little bit because you're mixing something else in. Like, obviously, that's going to change it. But I didn't notice much of a difference. So today, I wore one of my favorite foundations that I haven't worn in a long time. It was the Catrice True Skin because the shade I have is very much like a super tan summer shade for me. It would not work for me right now. It also is very yellow for me. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should 
pick up the blue mixer too, maybe, depending how I like this. But I tried today to mix it in with the foundation and it's it's new to me so sometimes you know you're mixing that you're like is this enough and you're trying to match it so i might have gone a little bit too pale today but you know i like it okay i spent way too long talking about that product what is next i picked up two products from essence and i actually broke my no buy or my low buy on both of these because these are both product specific items in my no buy that i did not plan to purchase for the rest of the year but but I'm planning to do a full face of Essence. I think, let me think when this vlog is going live. The, the full face of Essence might be tomorrow, I think, if my calculations are correct. Okay, mark your calendars because you can see these in action in tomorrow's video, if everything goes as planned. So I needed a blush and a foundation from Essence to complete that full face. So that's why I grabbed these. First, I picked up the Mosaic Blush because I've been hearing a lot of people rave about these. The shade I grabbed was Berry Connection. I only saw two on the Ulta website, but I think there might be more shades of this total. And then I got the 16-hour foundation, and now that I'm looking at it, this also looks really pale. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it will match. I am quite pale, but I went with the shade 3 Bright Beige. And I probably should have gone in stores and looked at this because, I don't know, this is really pale, but we'll see. I've heard very good things about this and I'm such a huge fan of powder foundation, so I hope that I like it. This blush, I mean, it's a pink blush, so the chances are high that I will like it. Okay, moving on, I picked up a round brush. Now this has hair in it because I have already used this, but... I'm trying to level up my hair game. I'm trying to like learn how to do a blowout. Now, I have an air wrap, the, the Dyson air wrap, and I've done videos with that before, and I think that's a great tool to create a blowout. But I've heard so many people say that you can achieve a better blowout with a round brush and doing it kind of the old school way with just a regular old blow dryer. So... I wanted to pick this up to try because years ago, like I remember when I was in high school, I tried to learn how to do a blowout and use a hair dryer and a round brush like this and I could never master it. Like there's something in the like dexterity that you need to achieve that style that I have just really struggled to master. However, when I got my hair done recently, I mentioned to the hairstylist that I've been dealing with a lot more frizz lately, which I didn't used to have, but I have a lot of like curly hairs coming in around my hairline. And when I try to wear styles like this, where the hair is like a little bit more straight with some, some curls at the bottom, once I step out into the humidity, this section really frizzes up. And I was asking him what I can do for frizz. And he said a lot of times people get frizz because their hair is not like styled to be fully straight or fully curly. It's kind of somewhere in between. And he said, try to blow it out first and really get that section straight. And he was asking me what I use and I'm telling him I have the air wrap and I usually style with that. And he said, that's, that's good, but you'll probably get a better result with this. And so I'm here to update you guys now. How long ago did I blow out my hair? It was three days ago, three days ago, I think. Now I styled it today with um, like the heatless curls technique. So these curls aren't from the blowout, but I do feel like all the hair around my hairline that normally would be fully curly by now is straighter. So I don't know, I'll update you guys there. I don't think it's like necessary that you need something like this, but I wanna try it. I'm still not an expert, doing a blowout yet and I feel like it's going to take me a while and a lot of practice to get there because trying to do it the other night I got my hair straight like I got all of like the curly sections around the front smoothed out I like the smoothness I really liked the body and the volume that it had but I'm trying to get the ends curled and like do the twisty thing to flip the ends around and they just go straight for me like it's hard for me to get the curl so I'm gonna work on it I also picked up some new press-on nails from Glamnetic. Now I have my nails painted right now. I, the problem is I painted these when I was at my mom's house and the nail polish is at her house. So I don't have it here in New York to touch up and they're looking a bit rough. So 
I think I'm gonna take this polish off before tonight and I might put these nails on or I might paint my nails a different color, but I grabbed these and they're just blush pink nails and they have hearts. Not on every single nail, but probably more than half of them have a little white heart. And so I thought that was a cute, subtle look. These are actually pretty short. I thought it would be a fun, simple look, though I almost wanna paint my nails a fall color today. And then during the fall haul, NYX products were on sale. I think maybe it was just NYX lip products, but they were buy two, get one free. So I, I did that. I bought two lip liners. The one I'm wearing right now is the shade Ever. And then I also bought Nutmeg, which is more of a brown shade. And then I bought a butter gloss. I, I, I picked up the shade Angel Food Cake. I used to love the butter glosses back in the day. I'm wearing Angel Food Cake right now. And I, I really need you guys, I need someone's help. They changed this formula, right? Am I, am I mistaken? I wanna say they redid this recently and this is a new formula. Cause it feels new. Because a while ago, maybe a year ago, I purchased another one of these in the shade Fortune Cookie from the Butter Gloss line because that was my favorite go-to shade when I was in college. I wanted to try it again, have it back in my collection. And I bought it. And I was like, wow, why did I like this so much? I was not a huge fan of the formula, but I saw a video of a girl wearing this shade recently and I thought the shade was gorgeous. So I was like, okay, let's pick it up. And I feel like this formula seems very different from what I remember. So let me know down below, is this a different formula? First of all, it's not even that glossy. Like it has a lot of pigment to it, but you wouldn't necessarily look at my lips and think, oh, she's wearing a lip gloss. Like. Maybe it's because I wear so many lip oils these days and lip oil is just so reflective and lip gloss isn't necessarily, but this shade I feel like doesn't really look like a gloss. I don't know, let me apply a little bit more. Also, I can't tell if this LA girl changed the formula of my foundation because when I'm seeing my chin right now, I have really bad dryness and separation there and I'm trying to remember if the Catrice foundation did that to me before because I don't think it did because I love that one, but. There's another layer of the gloss. I think the shade is so pretty. Even if it's not super glossy, I don't mind. I really was mostly after the color. That is my mini haul. Not too, too many products, but I'm getting ready shortly to head out to go have dinner tonight with Angela Bright. And I think I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit of that while I'm there. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who she is. If you don't, she is a YouTuber and I think if I showed you a photo of her eye, you would immediately recognize it because if you've ever looked up a tutorial for any eyeshadow palette on YouTube, you have probably seen her beautiful eye with her talented eyeshadow look in the thumbnail because she is the queen of tutorials. I know people always say like they miss tutorials on YouTube. Check out her channel. I met Angela in the spring when I was in Minneapolis with Sigma and she's actually in New York right now. So we decided we'd do a little dinner tonight and catch up and I'm so excited. So let's head there next. As you can tell this is a disaster and it's like such a gloomy rainy day today it has been raining for like the past five days here so I've been just kind of like organizing around the house and whatnot so I figured let's go through my makeup drawers there are a couple products in here that I think are expired that I need to declutter also like what is this like this needs to be organized and I still have some products in my makeup bag from when I went to Michigan a week ago that I have not unpacked and put back. So let's, let's just go through this together. 
this little compartment right here is where I put concealer. And then this is supposed to be like foundations and primers and setting sprays, but we, we need to work on this. Okay, actually this one right here, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. I said all those words in the wrong order, but I'm confident this has expired the last time that I wore it. The formula was just not the same. I've had this, I think, for like four years now. So this one I'm actually going to declutter. I feel like just having the setting sprays up here makes sense. That way they're kind of all in one section. And then most of the foundations over here plus primers back here, I'm thinking. This is a little bit stained, but not a huge deal to me. Okay. Now this drawer has some things to unpack. Also this is definitely expired. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Honey. I believe I first reviewed this in 2018 maybe and I tried to wear it the other day as a concealer or not as a concealer as like a liquid bronzer and it looked so patchy and bad like it just wasn't working so this will declutter also I mean this drawer overall is not so bad I feel like it already is somewhat organized you know I've got like liquid shadows up here some pot shadows here these are liquid blushes these are liquid bronzers and contour shades and highlights so actually this drawer is pretty good just a few more things i need to like unpack and put away if you can hear like some fuzzy noise in the background that was my radiator that just kicked on but I'm thinking for this, I want to throw all my lip oils in here. I also think for one of these little cardboard containers, I want to do any tinted lip balms. How about one for lip stains also? One for bold colors. maybe two for bold colors actually instead let me put the lip stains with the tinted lip balms because that's kind of like a natural ish type of look and then i can do nude lipsticks and liquid lipsticks in here maybe i'll line up my persona lippies because i have probably the most from that brand i also have a lot from K bite put my new lips in here also. Not perfect, but I would say it gets the job done and I feel like I can see things a bit better here. So I feel like I'll have an easier time knowing what I'm reaching for. But I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.